So some of you met already if you didn't. These are the Alumni Association co-presidents, Jane Ar um, Arbido Carbonero. It's good enough. Okay. <laughs> Mine's and, real easy. and John Rice. Okay, so let's thank them so much for providing this lunch. Okay, and the rest of the alumni that joined us today and for your continued support, it means so much. This is so, so nice to see all of you here. So I'm going to turn it over to Jane and John. Thank you. Thank you so much. Of course. And before we get started, um, I just want to thank a couple of really important people. Um, we've always given out scholarships, uh, but smaller, to a smaller scale than what we do now. Um, until Marty became uh, president, and then she really developed this program and developed it, and where we've given close to three hundred thousand dollars in the last five years, mm -hmm. or, or more maybe. So Marty has taken Marty and Mike Abbott, who's sitting right here, class of '57, class of. 50, Sure. Um, Think about that. Think about that. Uh, it's still here. It's 70, your 72 years ago. Yes. Okay. Um, I think so it's still with a passion and a love for yeah. school and giving back. They, for the last decade, they've been pretty much taking care of this program and they're going to step back now. Still be involved with the Alumni Association. They provide great value to us and, and great experience in, in doing this but they're going to step back from this specific task of doing the awards. So um, it's just really important to me to share with you how important the both of them have been for this whole pr program and developing and making it where, 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 what it is today and with the dollar amounts that we give out. So with that being said, these are adult, adult gifts, <laughs> but Marty, You oh fought long and hard about it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> In front of the children? <laughs> and, can I just say a couple words? Go ahead. Um, so a long time ago, we started giving these awards out at your senior awards night. And it was you know, filled with a whole bunch of other awards that were being given out um, to deserving people, students. And um, somewhere around, I want to say 2000. 19-ish, we decided we, it was after, it was, yeah, yes, that's right, COVID happened, COVID happened, and so every now and again we find, you know, a good thing that might have come out of COVID. This, this is one of them. Um, we thought about, we didn't, we wanted to give the awards out, and, but there was, the school was closed, we couldn't do large gatherings in school, so we found an open outdoor restaurant owned by a Madison alumnus from the class of 84, and we had our first senior awards um, uh, event at Clemente's restaurant. And uh, no commercials. No, 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 <laughs> no commercials. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, we wanted you folks. So it was a combination of things. We wanted you folks to know who we were and who's giving you this, these awards and this money and this, you know, kudos for doing so well. So we, we are the James Madison High School Alumni Association. You are all about to be members of the Alumni Association. Um, and I, I want you to think about how you can give back as you go along in your, uh, your future college careers, professions, etc. Don't forget us. We will continue doing outreach to you. Um, and I hope to see you on this side of the room one day. Anyway, congratulations to you all. You know, when I, when I got married, I, I, a friend of mine told me when I was going to say a speech at my wedding, they said, um, you know, you should just say, I hope you stuff the, the envelopes like you stuff your faces <laughs> to everybody. So I hope everybody ate well, and we did stuff the envelopes. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to... I know that we're going to give this first one out because I think Carol, Carol Reyes has to go to. Yeah. Oh, yes, guess. you made a mistake. Right off the bat. <laughs> she doesn't chance to do I can't trust these people. See? That was the first one. Yeah. Right off the bat. Okay. Right. 
Um, this is my personal award. Every past president has an award given in their honor. And it's been my honor for a couple of years. Um, we all choose our own criteria. And mine was somebody who achieved, even though there were extenuating circumstances. And I know I'm not going to pronounce his name right. He tried to teach me, but Carl Reyes. He's from Okay, I'm just going to take a minute before these two take over. Um, this is very important to me. I haven't been into an awards night since COVID. We used to come the last Wednesday of May for awards night. A whole bunch of us, most of the board. And things happened and I kept moving further and further north and I, you know, but um, all of you here earned all of these awards. They're very, very hard to come by. We just don't read something and say, oh yeah, this kid looks good. Really, truly, congratulations to you. And I know you're gonna be in very good hands when you go to the wonderful colleges and universities. And I hope that you honor these two people who are the co-presidents who are doing a fantastic job. So congratulations to all of you. Yeah, so Christina, why don't you yeah, come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, I got the names. Okay, that's yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> beautiful, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so let's get started. All right, okay. I'll take one and then, then Jane, you'll take one. Oh, uh, beautiful. Well, actually, I'll steer them to the take a t shirt. Okay. Oh, perfect, so, perfect. All right, so uh, Halima. Halima Gafarova, the Scholar Athlete Award. Yeah. Come on up. Grab a t-shirt when you're done. All right. The Howard Felcher Award. Howard Felcher is an alumni from the class of 19... Sure, okay. 1963. Um, this award was shared by several students. So one of the students receiving the share of the Howard Felcher Award is Alessio Galina. Yeah. Yeah. Checks in the back. Thank you. Go home and put the checks in yeah. the bank today. Yeah, deposit that. <laughs> also receiving a share of the Howard Felcher Award, Hector Haddock. <laughs> oh, Yeleni, you know what? Bring my computer. We, took some, we did some research on some of the alumni that won the award. If we could match up the award, um, in the slideshow, then that would be great. If not, listen, we'll, we'll do it. I think we could do it. All right, the next award is the Wayne Goldner MD Award for Math and Science. Wayne graduated in 1970. This award goes to Rachel Kurlova. The Thelma Kaplan Stevens Presidential Award for Scholarship and Citizenship. Giselle Lawrence. Congratulations. The Dr. Lauren Lawrence Z. Stern, Class of 1957 Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement Overall. Ling, Ling Yin Lee. Ling Yin. The Suzanne Osterweil Weber 1957 Award for Exemplary Character 
is also split between two students, Timel Morgan and Quadir McKeachin. Two weeks left, guys. <laughs> the James Madison High School Alumni Association Award for School Service, Mia Mergala. Okay. So, oh, nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Mia, you got. Mia also is receiving the Aldo F. Luca Catalyst Award. Congratulations. The Alumni Association Award for Excellence in Mathematics in memory of Matthew Sadi, class of 1915. Luke Williamson. No, 2015. <laughs> 2015. Oh my gosh. Very young. Yeah, 2015. You can see. Congratulations. Luke, do me a favor. Can you take a picture over here with John also? put me with the tall kid every time. <laughs> tall, man. <laughs> I want to get one too. Mr. Mall was friends with Matthew Sadi. Mm. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. <laughs> the James Madison High School Alumni Association Award for Computer Science, Ron Vasserman. <laughs> Ron is also receiving the Richard Kossoff Award for Civic Leadership. Even taller one now. You're getting taller and taller, or I'm getting shorter. Congratulations. Good job. Congrats, Ryan. The Sandra Goldberg Roche Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement goes to our Valley Victorian, Michelle Vasserman. And Michelle's also receiving the award for Political Science. Okay, the next recipient will also be receiving two awards. The first is the Jane Castorina Gordon's Presidential Award for Outstanding Educational Achievement. The next award is the Ruth Bader Ginsburg Award. Nava Sheik. Guys, this is Paul Oliveri. He was a classmate of mine, class of 1983, retired NYPD sergeant, and he's given out this scholarship to net the uh, provided the funding for the scholarship the last two or three years. So uh, I, I know we got invited Paul. him today, um, and we're going to give that to yeah. So so this next student's actually receiving uh, two awards. Yeah, let's see Paul's picture. We got Paul up here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so the recipient of Paul's award is also receiving two. So the uh, first award is the Dr. Alan Hyman Class of 51 Award for Musical Talent. And then, of course, we have the Paul Olvieri Award Class of 1983. This goes to Jillian Powers. <laughs> The Dr. Lawrence Z. Stern 1957 Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement, as well as the Eugene Schloss Class of 1958 Award for Academic Achievement, Rachel Raina Para. Alright, also receiving part of the Howard Felcher Award, class of 1963, Yeleni. Yeleni's working the computer. Come on up, Yeleni. Yeah, we should, we should put Yeleni out there too. There you go. And you two, right? Oh, yeah. 
Yeleni is also receiving the award for social studies. Okay. Okay. Also receiving the Howard Felcher Award, Linne Feltri Ariujo. Last but not least, the Larry Gold Class of 1970 Award for School Service, Jawad Chaudhry. You didn't forget me. I know you're sitting there waiting. Like, why did they invite me here? Here you go. Your wife's the editor of the yearbook. Oh, great. Of the yearbook. Here, we got a job for you. <laughs> yeah. We need an editor. <laughs> Good going. Okay, everybody, we can just have a round of applause for all of our alumni that support these awards. And to you guys. Yes, and to you. Very nice. Yeah, of course. Okay, all right, we cannot go anywhere yet. We have to take some group photos. Okay? So I think at this point, this probably needs to put your shirts on. Guys, in the next, in the next week or so, there's going to be a. a QR code right by uh, Jody and Rita's office. Okay, and that's going to be for you to sign up for the Alumni Association. So I'll ask just for your information. Please go ahead and do that so that we have your information. We'll send you out some new letter, newsletters and we'll do a, a trial membership for a while. Um, but please sign up and do that so that we can so you stay communicating. We'll give you information about homecoming and stuff. Make sure you come back for homecoming every year. For you guys that are going away, it's a good time to Six weeks, it'll be about six, seven weeks that you've been away. Good, good spot to come home right, for Halloween. So uh, please, please make sure you look for that QR code and, and sign up, okay? Because I like to beat a dead horse sometimes, I just want to add to what John is saying. So after graduation, you're all going to be alumni of, to the club. of Madison High School, right? And we're, you know, there is a difference between being an alumni of Madison High School and being a member of the Alumni Association. So we are going to give you um, a free trial period membership and then we're, we would love for you when the time comes to then please join us um, in the future. Uh, we do fundraising, we, we, we sponsor the, the homecoming and it's how we continue to be able to give these scholarships out. Okay, and, and, and pay for some of the extras that you guys have had you know, through the years here, okay? Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.